Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue with GTA 5 and Hans version. While launching the game, you got an error, could not find rune64.dll. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. There are two ways to fix this issue. First of all, you need to open up your Windows security. From the left pane, click on the option protection history and all the files that are blocked by your antivirus will be shown right over here. So the file name which is rune64.dll must be blocked by your antivirus. So to do so, click on this down arrow key to find the file. Once you click on the down arrow key, you will find the path of the file. Now if the file path is related to GTA 5 and the file name is rune64.dll, what you need to do is to simply click on this action tab and choose the option allow on device. And to prevent future blocking, go to virus and threat protection, click on manage settings and then scroll down click on the option add or remove exclusion now click on the plus arrow key and select the folder of the gta 5 where the game is installed for example the game is installed at my end is in f drive rockstar games and here is gta 5 select the folder so that it will not block the file in future if this failed to work out secondly open up your browser and here is the download link of rune rig 64.dll file click on the download link to download this file into your system once the file is downloaded, click on this arrow key and from here you need to open the history by clicking on this three dot icon and choose the option downloads. Now here is the history file, click on this three dot arrow key and click on the option download dangerous file. This will download the file. Once the file is downloaded, right click and copy the file and paste right in the game directory which is available in F drive, Rockstar games, GTA 5. Right -click and paste right over here. Once the file is pasted, go ahead and relaunch the game and hopefully the issue of rune64.dll is missing will be completely fixed out and you will be able to play the game. So that's all about it friends. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.